All right, I've got a 31-pound bag of live crawfish. Just picked it up here at the grocery store. They do them here on the weekends in Texas. And I uh, got this 31-pound bag for 46 bucks. And the uh, first thing we're going to do is, is get the purge rolling and uh, the boil going. All right, first things first, getting the purge on. Now, I don't have a big-ass cooler. I'm just the poor man's gourmet kitchen, so we're just going in the sink, and I'm going to perk them in here. This will be fine. As you can see, they're real happy to be here. And uh, I'll be good here for now. Get them a good rent. All right, I've given a good rinse, and now you can see I'm filling them up with water. And as I do that, I'll be uh, covering them in uh, some salt just to get the purge going on. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to purge, get the boiling water going. I do it just a little bit uh, past half full, about uh, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe three quarters of a of a full pot. I'm going to throw in two onions I've just chopped into big old chunks, and I've got the uh, the seasoning here, which is slap your mama. And uh, I'm going to pour in about close to half this bag just to get this thing going here for the flavor. Save the other half for the seasoning after we pull them out. There we go. Now a lot of people like to put corn, potatoes in, whatnot. Um, I'm not going to do it because I'm just going for the seasoning of the actual water. The corn, the potatoes, you can just eat along with it, but I just want the crawfish. So the onion's going to help the flavor of the actual boil and uh, the flavor of the uh, crawfish. Okay, about 15 minutes of that. I'm just going to give it another rinse. I've drained all the water. Just want to get all that salt out of there. Now, there's quite a debate about whether you uh, salt them when you purge them out. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. I just do it to make sure they're extra clean because I don't like to get the muddy, grainy taste in my mouth. Uh, supposedly, the uh, salt itself is, as, as they're, they're drinking it in there in the water, they spit out the mud that they've digested is, is supposedly what they do, but it's just theory. There's still no scientific evidence of it or anything, but I like to get a good clean on the outside too because you handle these with your hands a lot and as you're grabbing the meat, you don't need to get any muddy grains in your mouth. So now that I've got a good rinse on it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them into these bowls here just to make sure I've got all live crawfish. Anything dead, you need to throw away. You do not want to cook the dead ones and you can tell the dead ones by the way their tail is. If they don't have a curled tail and it's straight and solid, they're dead. Get rid of them. Okay, here we go. Live crawfish boil. As you can see, we are boiling. We've got the live crawfish, and we are entering the tub. I've got a few overboarders, castaways. Get them right in there. And I'm going to put some more from the other bowl in, fill it up to the top. All right, there we go. Filled to the brim pretty much. Get them all in there. About uh, 10 to 12 minutes is what you're looking at here, cooking these bad boys. All right, my bad. Not 10 to 12 minutes. I meant, uh, you know, about 7, 8 minutes. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take them a tray because we're going to want to eat these. They're pretty quick, and uh, a lot of people like to cold shock them. You can do that if you want. You can throw them over uh, a bag of ice or whatever, but I've got some hungry mouths here in the house, and uh, they want to eat, so 
I'm just going to do it this way, get them all out real quick. Okay, that's one pan, and you can see I still got a lot more to unload, but I'm going to take some of this uh, seasoning here, and we're going to shake over the top of it just for a little extra flavor, because it's good when you're sucking these things down, especially for those that like to suck the juice. We're not scared around here. We like to get into it, and we like the spice. We like the flavor. And there you have it, crawfish, live crawfish here with the poor man's gourmet kitchen.